Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning, everyone. This is Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese, and I am your host, Morgan Reese. So every time you're watching this, I hope you are enjoying your day. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Yay, yay, yay. And I am so excited to, to introduce you guys to my new guest. His name is Desire. So, you know, that name comes with a lot of things, huh? But he is a unique fashion designer. You heard what I said, ladies. He's a fashion designer. He has his own brand, his own clothing clothing line, and he's bringing new things to the city of to the state of Virginia and wowing the men and the women there. So, I'm, no further ado, I would like to welcome my uh, guest, Desire. Come on, boy. Hey, hey, how's it going? It's going just one second. It's good morning, black people. With your host, Morgan Reese, author, author podcast, podcast, online personality. Good morning, Black people, discussing social views, today's news, and interviews. Subscribe today at YouTube at Good Morning Black People. All right, Desire, how are you doing this evening? <laughs> Good. How about yourself? I love I the intro. Great. Oh, yeah. Anytime, anytime. I always got to hype you up. I always got to hype yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so you had one of those names where you're like uh, Ron Artest. You only had one unique name or Prince. He changed his name so many times or did he? Yeah. So um, <laughs> I know you're an amazing, unique type of fashion designer and you are a creative director as well. So let me stop talking and you tell everyone who you are, what your type of designs you do and what makes you so unique as a young man, as a fashion designer. Okay. Uh, I'm Desire. Uh, it's spelled D-3-S-I-R-E. The three stands for the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, peace, love, and happiness, me, myself, and I. So those are uh, things that I live by and that I was brought up on. Um, I design streetwear. Um, really, I don't want to even, I don't want to put myself in that box. So I'm kind of open. I do suits. I did suits my uh, last fashion show. I did uh, streetwear, the fashion show before that. So I'm really open. Uh, I do custom designs. Um, my Instagram speaks for itself. That's uh, underscore D3, S-I-R-E underscore three. So you can look at some of my work there. Um, what makes me unique is I feel like my work ethic. Like for my age, I'm really pushing. Um, I have a son, so that's really my motivation. Uh, yeah, so that's just what keeps me going. Like I really can't say too much, but yeah. I wanna, yeah. Wow. So do you have any designs that you have with you that you can show us or anything like that or any any samples or anything like that? Because you're saying you I saw your Instagram and you 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 out there, dude. You, <laughs> I appreciate you're it. Doing it. Um, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? So you can you can um, um, motivate and inspire other guys, young men, young black men, especially in your okay. age, in your generation. Of, I'm twenty nine. Uh, Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, 29. My birthday is October 26th. So I turned 30 this year. Wow. Scorpio. Yeah. yeah. Man. <laughs> Dude, 30. You about to be the 3-0. Yeah. And don't man. be thinking you're gonna get old because I know people be like, yo, you about to be 30, man. You about to be old. No, you just getting started. Yeah, I'm just getting <laughs> that's how I feel though. Like honestly, like this is my second year in the uh mainstream fashion industry. Okay. So it's I'm just now getting started. So like you said, like this is go time. This is the beginning. That's all God's grace. You know that, right? That's why yeah. you got three yeah. in the name. <laughs> yeah. He knows what he's doing. You how know he, it. Doing. he does yeah. it all the time on purpose. I promise you he does. Yeah. Wow. And you said you have a son. So basically you're being a black father who's trying to raise your son and show him, you know, yeah. besides doing the opposite as some black men get involved in, unfortunately, because of life situations and circumstances, you're showing him something different, which is yeah. really positive for a, a gentleman your age group, because he could have been learning a whole lot of other things yeah. in 2023. And as my new my new slogan and my motto this year is, 2023 is all about me. So 2023 is all about you, Desire, and you and your son, and you're showing him a different path as a young father, um, as a... Um, a mentor yeah. to not just to, to to your generation, but to his his friends when they as they're growing up. That's your dad, like yeah. Yeah, that's my dad, you know. And he's proud to say that. So, how do you feel about that? And in, in this generation now, where the way things are going on in the world, 
especially with so many of our black young men um, being targeted unnecessarily or yeah. being ostracized or um, in, in that manner? Um, with my son, I already see it already. He had on a uh, desire hat. And, you know, he wore to school every day. You know, this is my dad's hat. And one of the other parents walked up to me like, hey, man, you're a designer. Your son was telling me this is uh, your head and this, that, and the third. And I was like, yeah, it is. Because it kind of took me for surprise, but people actually notice and, you know, listen to, uh, you know, kids his age and things of that nature. And it's just like, it's pretty dope to, you know, saying, see him repping like, yeah, I'm proud that my dad is a designer, this, that, and the third. So I try to get him into the field. Like, he's at my shows um luckily my girlfriend bring him every time so that's that's really dope that she is able to do that uh he's there front row cheering me on so he's seen me at work and it, it's a blessing it's it's truly a blessing to really have him front row and seeing like okay it's doable i'm saying like i try to open up to op open him up to open uh different things like uh soccer basketball football and try to get him like the opportunity to pick for himself. Like you don't have to always be the steric uh, in the box. Let's say that put him in a box. So I try to and open the world to him. Anything and everything is possible. And he's seeing that yeah. with his dad. He's seeing that yeah. with his dad because he's like, man, you know, he may have been around other kids or other people, and he's like, you know, but my dad is this, and he's like, your dad yeah. is right. your dad is a designer, really? Nah, nah, you know, because most people say designers are mainly strangely for women. Yeah. And a lot of men don't really come out there like that. And if they do, um, they're not they're not so in, in everyone's face. And then by the time they are out there, then it's like, oh, I've been doing this for like 10 years. I've been doing this for 20 years. So yeah. you look forward to that where you you about to blow up desire. You you yeah, about I appreciate to blow it. Up. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and receive it. Just go ahead and receive it. Um I, definitely I promise you goes to your your uh, Instagram page, and I was like. I don't even know how old he is, but he's like he's young. he's around my kids' age group because I have kids in the thirties. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. oldest should be thirty-two. So, uh, okay. yeah, I know I don't look like it. I get it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Took me for a surprise. <laughs> I figured I would shock you with that one. <laughs> yeah. My youngest, my youngest will be twenty-six. So yeah, okay. <laughs> and my son just turned thirty. So yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> God's grace. I promise you, it's not me. It's all so, God. Yeah. So, um, this is like. Man, to see when I look at your Instagram page, and I was like, "This guy is doing it." Um, and I, I even saw something you just post recently, and everyone was like, "Yo, that jacket is fire!" Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> man, that thing is popping. Like, where, where, yeah. where, 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 where I get that from? Where I can do that at? So you said you've only been out for about two years. So yeah. how did you start into the fashion designer business? What, when, when did this passion hit you? uh it hit me probably like we spoke before in south carolina they had this um model call at um one of these malls and it was like one of for um for this agency i don't remember the name but from there i was a model but then as i got older it changed to hey you're not tall enough uh you don't reach these uh requirements things of that nature then i turned it well instead of me walking i'm gonna have somebody walk for me with my name on them from that point in my life, it it was like a switch. So then I went to um, Art Institute of Virginia Beach, uh, studied there for about three years. Then from there, it was like I'm learning the same thing. So maybe I just need to take that step and just, you know, start with the knowledge I do have and put a logo on a shirt and just learn from the ground. And it took me about three, four years during that time to really figure out, you know, what works and what don't work. Then last year was year six or five, and that was Richmond Fashion Week. So that's when I became the, you know, mainstream two years. You know what I'm saying? So this is my second, yeah. This is my second year as, you know, the mainstream fashion shows, uh, fashion weeks, things of that nature. So it's been, a, it's definitely been a ride. Man, that's not look you on guys ride right now so yeah. <laughs> yeah, as yeah, you said you yeah. already your roots were already there you put that three in there for a reason and i love how you just went ahead and yeah. spit it all out yeah father son holy spirit first and then yeah. everything else after the fact so once you acknowledge him he gonna make sure he put you on that right path and i yeah. the path that you're on stick to it yeah, don't let I the naysayers don't let the doubters the haters or the people say, well, why are you doing that? You're a guy, you know, you look like this. You're like, you should be doing this. 
No, I look yeah. like I'm be doing what I want to do. How about that? Right, right, right. <laughs> you're doing what you want to do, and I'm doing yeah. what I want to do. <laughs> so, that, and that's the thing about it. Like, it's not easy. Like, people make it seem so easy, but it's definitely hard with, you know, saying God name in any industry. It's off of you already in a box. So I'm just like, all right, but that's the path that I'm on. So it's kind of like, all right. <laughs> I mean, they already label you as uh, like someone yeah. said, oh, now you're a Bible thumper. I'm like, okay, whatever you want to call oh. me. But guess what? He, I'm, I'm, he's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> he's yeah. the reason why I'm at the path I'm at. So you call me whatever you want to call me. You know, that, that's yeah. your term. That's not my term. <laughs> yeah. So you, and especially as a young man, again, as a young man, and I stress that because I have a son myself. And um, as I said, he just turned 30. So I know how you guys are always placed in that box. And you're yeah. like, I'm stepping out that box. I'm going to make my yeah. own path. I'm going to make my own legacy for my son and right. for, for me and my family once I get to that stage to, for my family to come as one unit. And I promise you, Desire, you're doing it. You're doing I a dang it. Thing. I promise you, you are. <laughs> Um, I definitely appreciate it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was like. Let, let me see if I can reach out to this young man and see if he can come on. Let me let me talk to him. So you can share your journey, your story to other young women and young men in your generation and probably younger or older um, as how you started out and where you at now. And you like you you went to the Richmond Fashion, Fashion Show. How many, people, how many people can say that and say, yeah. guess what? Now I've arrived. You have arrived. Yeah. yeah. You have arrived. <laughs> You know, yeah. as long as you stay humble and you know how you got it, how you got to that path, everything else behind you, it'll follow. You know, don't even worry about, you know, when you're saying that G-O-D word, that G-O-D is the reason why we're all here. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's yeah. the reason why we're alive, we're breathing. And as long as you keep that in your heart and your mind and your spirit as you go, because things happen, life yeah. happens. And yeah. Once you stay, if you stay focused on on that process and on him, you'll be okay. I promise you, yeah. you'll, you'll be okay. Um, yeah. Guys, so you said you do design outside, just like um, street where you do suits and all that. So what do you do for the lace? So if I say, hey, look, design, desire, I need you to design me something. What could you do that would be step out of the box? That would be something unique. Because remember, you are a unique designer. Think about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do. Unisense. What have you done that's unique so far? unique um okay so i did a unisex suit and it was red so it had um it was a red suit with desire going down the pants leg inside with the logo on the back so when i did the fashion show i had a male um model the uh suit but a female ended up buying it and had it on a red carpet probably two weeks later i want to say so my clothes is really for everybody like uh the jacket that you've seen it's a yeah. female in the jacket but i have males in my dm like hey i need it. I so did it's, it's really for er yeah it's really for everybody so i feel like yeah. that's the unique thing about it so both sets can wear it's not really a oh this is a man's clothing it's unisex like you can see a woman in it you can see a male in it so I, yeah, they still look hot they still be on style. fire yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you be like where you get that Look, you need to go hit that guy at Desire. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I promise, just your name alone is like, that's a unique name. Everybody then, has a desire. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> so that, that's, where, that's where it came from. You just Everybody explained has it. a desire. You, yeah. You're going to put a pen in it right there. You're going to put a pen in it right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we put a pen in it. What desire? Can you tell everyone how to reach you, your social media, your website, if they decide they want to, um, to, to get a design strict, strictly from desire using your, your intelligent brain that you have, how can they reach out to you? How can everyone that's looking and watching, how can they reach out to you? Uh, my Instagram is underscore D three S I R E underscore three. You can DM me. You, you're talking to me. I'm, I'm over my DM and all of that. So any questions you have, uh, that's where I place my orders. You can get your jackets, uh, upcoming shows is on my instagram right now my website is under construction i'm doing a little rebranding right now but my dm is open any questions you have feel feel free to ask me uh yeah and we can just talk we can brainstorm we can put shows together whatever the case may be so do you have any projects that's coming up that you're currently working on now that you want to share with everyone so they can look for something new or something hot because it is 2023 now think about this it's 2023 is all about wow. you so every I look at this every year or every so every often in your life as you grow in your path and your journey, 
improve, improve, add some, add some of this, add some of that, and just take off. Yeah. So any new projects you got going on? Uh, I'm dropping the anniversary jackets in February. Uh, that's the push jacket that you've seen. So I'm um, previewing, and the anniversary is when I started Desire, you know what I'm saying, full on out was in February. And I love the month uh, because it's Black History Month. Then you have Valentine's Day. That's my favorite holiday. Um, I have a show coming up February the 11th. That's in uh, Fredericksburg. Then I already have a show October, which is Food Tackler that I host with the um, collaborative team. And uh, that's on my um, Instagram too. And that's called Spoot Chapter 2. So wow. I'm already working. You're busy. See, you're already busy. <laughs> and we only had uh, January 27, 2023. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that's just, all right, you're about to take off for the rest of the year. So you go ahead and get yourself together. You're going to have a busy schedule. You, I yeah. promise you have a busy schedule. So do you have a signature color or uh, like, you know, some designers, they like, they have something that stands out besides just their logo or just their name that, that's their brand. Do you have a signature color? Because I know you say Valentine's your favorite, your favorite holiday. Red. <laughs> I, I figured that. I figured that because yeah. I see that. But I was like, yeah. well, I don't know. Maybe he just like the like the floss put in it. So I just want to I just want to make sure that that's not that was it. Mm. Yeah, it's three of them. It's uh the color red, um, a rose, because a rose can be it can be beautiful and it can be deadly. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like in front of rose, we put roses on the uh casket at weddings, you throw roses at the bride. It could go both ways. Um and at every fashion show, I start off with a prayer. And from there, it kind of like my clothes speak for itself and the music kind of intertwine. So my fashion shows are definitely an experience just with my set by itself. And I just want to get the audience something to take home with. Wow. Desire, you got me species right there. You start, <laughs> you start your shows off with a prayer. You yeah. starting off right, right there. I'm just gonna tell you that right <laughs> there. So if anyone say, "Why he do that? He he all fly and this and that." If you don't, yeah. you don't have to give that thanks to the man upstairs. All that you got right now, you yeah. you wouldn't even have. You wouldn't even yeah. have. So and it's crazy because, right yeah, I start off with the prayer, but at the end of the day, like by the end of the show, you're gonna be in a party. So you can still praise God and still have fun. Like it's okay. Like I'm I'm reaching the people that's lukewarm who's not really ready to commit but they still love god but they still want that time to understand and get it together like i'm right there too so that's why i put the prayer first but we can still party a little bit we can it's still have fun reckless. yeah right we can we can still have fun with it right yeah be responsible look i yeah. promise you again not i am not uh super perfect i promise you i am very flawed and i got my own thing that i do myself so i promise you just because you hear me speaking the way i'm speaking and I talk about God all day. He knows, but guess what? He knows us as his children. He right. knows who we were before when we were formed in our mother's womb. So it's right. not like he said, because there's no such thing as anyone's perfect. The only person person perfect is God, is Jesus. Exactly. Right? Exactly. You know? exactly. If you think you're perfect to him, then you definitely got a problem. There's something yeah. wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> not so, nice. <laughs> look, look, I'm not, look, I always say this. I am not judging anyone because guess what? When you point that finger at yourself, and someone else, the mother three fingers uh -huh. are pointing back at you. I yeah, said, come on. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> as, you throw, it. as you throw rocks and stones at, at that glass mirror, his reflection is looking right back at you. Yeah. That's <laughs> I it. promise you. That's the motto. Man, desire. I am so honored and blessed and grateful that you decide to take out the time. Thank you. Out your Thank busy you. schedule to, uh, to join me. I'd like to know. When you get that new la latest hottest thing, I'm gonna bring you back on my show. Will you come back? Oh yeah, come on, yeah. Okay, yeah, we okay. locked. <laughs> we locked. If you don't mind yeah. asking, how old is your son? Because I have grandkids, so he's six. He's oh. six. Oh, yeah, you, you, you molded him at the right time. You molded him at the right time. He about yeah. to be desired number junior. Desired yeah. junior. There you go. He about to be desired junior. <laughs> You're going to be seeing him yeah. doing this like eight, nine years old. But daddy, let me see what you're doing. Well, let me give you this idea because you got a younger yeah. mind. You know, their mind's a little right. fresher, younger than us or younger right. than you. So it's about, about to take this, this thing about to take off. Yeah, I it's can't wait till you get to high school. I oh, cannot man. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, sell this shirt. He's about to sell school like everybody. Yeah. Like, no, you yeah. see, you yeah. know sell these shirts right is. quick. Yeah. <laughs> and I cannot like, wait. Like, oh, dad, that's mine. That's my child. That's yeah. my boy right there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like your parents did with you. That's mine right there. That's my child right there. I cannot wait. Wow, yeah. you look, I can see cool. you over there blushing and gushing right now. You like yeah. like a proud little dad, man. Yeah, I'm proud of that. I, I told you my kids are grown. And I still treat them like they're little kids sometimes. Yeah, and they be like, too. you know, um, we are full grown adults. I was like, yeah, yeah. but then sometimes you act like kids too. So <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah, well, guys, 
I am so grateful and thankful that Desire took out the time out of his busy schedule again. Look this man up. Check out his IG. Yo, Thank this you. young guy, 30 years old. I'm saying you're 30 now. We ain't going to say Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Give me a couple of months. Come on. Don't, don't do me he's like that. He's probably 29, but still, he's still young. 29 yeah. years old, man. He's doing his thing. He's representing God. He's representing his, his, his culture. He's representing his brand. And he's even teaching his son, you know, how to, to grow up in his in his footsteps. Or not even not even his footsteps, but take a part of his footsteps and take that path and go to a whole nother level. Check out Desire's IG. Again, say your IG one more again so everybody will know how to find you while you got your website building. Okay, it's underscore D3 S I R E underscore three desire. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, guys. Thank you again for joining me and, and, and watching me and Desire chat it up, bust it up, you know, doing what we do. I look forward for, for him to come back because he said he's going to come back. I heard yeah. what he said. Now. I'm, he trying, said I'm trying to come back. to Charlotte. I'm trying to come to Charlotte. We, no, oh, that's even person. better. We, we can do, we can do a, a in-person interview. Yeah. We, let's, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Great, better word. You just tell me where to meet up and we, we set it up. My producer be right there ready for it. Say less. <laughs> My producer be there ready for it. Well, guys, thank you again for joining tonight's session. This episode was amazing. A fashion designer, a young black man doing his thing. His name is Desire, the number three. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, say the rest. Peace, love, and happiness, me, myself, and I. Uh, all day, every day. Let's get it. Let's do it. Follow his IG. Much thank love, you. much peace. Thank you again for joining and taking out the time out your busy schedule. I'm so humble and Always. grateful. And the next time we get together, we're going to come out with it. I'm going to see that next design. I'm going yeah, yeah. to be rocking that thing the next time. All right, man. I'll be rocking that thing. I promise you I will. <laughs> well, guys, thank you. thank you again for joining Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese. Again, I am your host, the fantabulous, the fun, the loving Morgan Reese. And I was here with my, my um, amazing, unique guest, Desire, the fashion designer of VA, Virginia, y'all. Y'all better check him out. Have a good rest of your evening, morning, afternoon, guys, whatever time you're watching this. Be blessed. Have a happy Friday, amazing weekend, and stay safe. It's Good Morning Black People with your host, Morgan Reese. Author, uh, uh, podcast, 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 online personality. Podcast. Good Morning Black People discussing social views, today's news, and interviews. Subscribe today at YouTube at Good Morning. I'm Morgan Reese, inviting you to tune in weekly for some empowering, enlightening, and embracing conversations to kickstart your day on Good Morning Black People.